Hello everyone. This is Manu Seth. I work with AWS and have been an MXNet contributor for the last two and a half years. In this presentation, I'll be talking about ARM support in MXNet, where we currently stand, and what we can focus on going forward. Let's start with a brief overview of ARM and edge computing. ARM stands for Advanced Risk Machine, where RISC stands for Reduced Instruction Set Computing. ARM-based processors have typically fewer transistors as compared to CISC architecture-based processors like x86, which improves cost, power consumption, and heat dissipation. This is why ARM processors are present on most IoT devices and embedded systems around us in the form of system on chip and system on module. With more and more data being generated on these edge devices, a new paradigm of computing has come up called edge computing, which acts on data at the source. This solves latency and bandwidth issues often faced with transferring data from edge devices to cloud and centralized data centers. Edge computing is increasingly combined with deep learning to benefit from AI applications and services. MXNet has a long history of ARM support. For more than three years now, MXNet has supported both AARC32 and AARC64 based platforms. MXNet CI has had build stages for ARM v6, v7, and v8 for both Linux and Android operating systems. In February 2018, Jetson build got added to CI, which added CUDA support to ARM v8 Linux builds. To test these binaries, chemo based testing got added to CI in October 2018. Recent works with respect to ARM support in MXNet include toolchain updates for different architectures. This year, we switched to standard Debian cross-compilation toolchain for ARM v7 and v8. We updated Jetson build toolchain to use CUDA 10.2 and Jetpack 4.4. Chemo-based ARM virtualization test setup was also simplified to run in less than two minutes. Other recent works relate to NVIDIA Jetson. NVIDIA Jetson is a family of system and module with its own CPU, GPU, PMIC, memory, and storage. They're designed for low power and high performance. Jetson family of modules include Jetson Nano with Maxwell architecture, the TX2 series with Pascal architecture, and Jetson Xavier with Volta architecture. This year, we have updated build from source instructions for Jetson builds on MXNet website. Both AWS and NVIDIA have released pre-built Jetson wheels that come with CUDA support. We now have tutorials on deploying MXNet models on Jetson. This includes a tutorial on deploying image classification model from MXNet model zoo, and a tutorial on deploying Gluon CV object detection model from Gluon CV model zoo. This is how the tutorial looks like. This is the Gluon CV object detection tutorial. It provides a link to the pre-built MXNet Jetson wheel, provides instructions to install the wheel, and then it provides instructions to install Gluon CV and its dependencies. And finally, a simple script to load an object detection model from Gluon CV model zoo and run it on top of a public image.
AWS Graviton processors are custom built by AWS using 64-bit ARM NeoVerse N1 cores to deliver the best price performance for cloud workloads running on EC2. The first generation AWS Graviton processors power Amazon EC2 A1 instances. The second generation processors power Amazon EC2 T4G, M6G, C6G, and R6G instances, and their variants with local NVMe based SSD storage. They can provide up to 40% better price performance over comparable current generation x86 based instances for a wide variety of workloads. The next steps would be to investigate MXNet inference performance on Graviton for models of different sizes. Just like MKL Blast can give speed ups over Open Blast for x86 architectures, this ARM PL or ARM performance library that we need to evaluate against OpenBLAST for performance. AWS Graviton instances can also be used to build MXNet natively in CI and CD for all ARM architectures. Next thing to evaluate is acceleration libraries. There are a few options available. First is ARM Compute Library, which is a collection of software functions implemented for Cortex-A family of CPUs and Molly family of GPUs. MXNet need not directly integrate with ARM Compute Library. There is ARM Neural Network SDK, which supports Onyx and TensorFlow Lite, and that translates networks to internal ARM NN format and deploys them through ARM Compute Library. MXNet can directly integrate with ARM NN SDK, or else use Onyx Converter to convert MXNet models to Onyx format and then to ARM NN format. A third option is XNN Pack by Google which is a set of floating point kernel libraries for ARM CPUs. It's currently supported by TensorFlow Lite as well as PyTorch Mobile. Apple recently launched its first ARM-based computer powered by an M1 chip, which is a single system on a chip combining processor, input-output, security, and memory. Apple also launched its own acceleration library known as ML Compute Framework, which contains BNNS primitives from the Accelerate Framework for the CPU and Metal Performance Shaders for the GPU. It released Mac Optimized TensorFlow that uses ML Compute Framework and has shown performance improvement over Intel based Macs. Here, our next steps would be to integrate MXNet with ML Compute Framework and evaluate performance. Currently, in MXNet CI, we build MXNet for different ARM architectures on Linux and Android operating systems. But all these builds use cross compilation toolchain. We can replace them with native compilation tool chains and use Graviton instances to save cost. Also currently, we only have chemo-based ARM testing in our CI. We can use AWS Device Farm to connect MXNet CI to a board farm to test on a real edge device like NVIDIA Jetson. ARM devices have varied memory. Raspberry Pi comes in 1, 2, and 4 GB. Jetson Nano has 4 GB. Jetson TX2 and Xavier NX both have 8 GB RAM. And Jetson AGX Xavier comes in 32 GB RAM. 
not every device can compile MXNet due to memory limitations. Hence, we need pre-built MXNet ARM wheels. Currently, we don't have a CD stage to publish ARM wheels. Going forward, we can add a stage to nightly CD pipeline to publish these fields. Also, we need to add a stage to MXNet release pipeline, publish ARM wheels for each release of MXNet. These were some of the ideas that I wanted to share with you and that I feel as a community we should work on going forward. If you're interested in working on any of these ideas or want to discuss more, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you for your time.